All right, so you ready to like dive deep into something kind of wild? Today we're tackling Minecraft hacking. Ooh, okay. But like not just hacking in general, we're zeroing in on this thing called the worst client. The worst client, that's yeah. right. And getting right into it, we're using their website, like going straight to the source, worstclient.net. That makes sense, see what they have to say about themselves. Exactly, and let me tell you, there is a lot to unpack here. Over 250 features, can you believe that? 250? For a hacking client, that's intense. Right. So for anyone listening who's like, wait, Minecraft mods? Hacking? What is this? <laughs> Imagine this. Minecraft is your giant Lego set, right? Client side mods, these are like secret compartments with extra blocks, but like way more interesting. Some let you build crazy fast. I can see where this is going. Yeah. Some make it so your creations just ignore gravity. And then others, well, let's just say those are a bit more explosive. Okay. So where does worst fit into all this? That's the thing. Worst seems to be a buffet, a little something for every kind of Minecraft player. Their tagline is, and I quote, supercharge your Minecraft experience. But that's where things get really interesting, right? Because supercharge could mean a lot of things. Exactly. Are we talking giving you a little boost? Or are we talking full on rewriting the game? Because some of these features... They're walking a very, very fine line. But I am hooked. Let's get into it. What kind of stuff are we talking about here? So they've got their features nicely organized, thankfully cheats, commands, and then this category just called other features. Other features, huh? Sounds mysterious already. Right. Just looking at this list, it's like peeking into a mad scientist's recipe book. You know, you've got combat boosts like Killora, which, come on, even the name sounds intense. Killora, yeah, that doesn't sound like it's messing around. What does it do? So basically, it automates combat. <laughs> like you just sit back and <laughs> things die. Whoa. So no more meticulously crafting swords and armor, strategizing your attacks. Well, apparently not with this thing. Imagine. <laughs> it's like having a super-powered bodyguard in the game, just taking care of any pesky creepers that come your way. Okay, that's wild. But isn't that, I mean, is it really playing the game at that point? Right. That's the question. Yeah. And it's like, worst knows what they're doing because they don't even try to hide it. They're embracing the chaos. So we've got automated combat. What other kinds of enhancements are we talking about here? Oh, you are in for a treat. They've got movement hacks, too. Like, Jesus. Yeah, you heard that right. You can walk on water and then there's flight. Pretty self-explanatory, but can you imagine the possibilities? No more painstakingly gathering resources to build that bridge to that awesome floating island. Nope. Just flap your virtual wings and off you go. <laughs> it's like turning Minecraft into your own personal superhero simulator. This is blowing my mind. But seriously, where do we draw the line? This seems less like enhancing and more like straight up cheating, especially when you're playing with other people. You hit the nail on the head. Yeah. And worse seems to enjoy dancing around that line. They're offering this whole buffet from quality of life tweaks that seem harmless enough. Right, right. To these blatant exploits, like pick your poison. Okay, but where do they actually draw the line? Or do they even try? That's what we're here to find out. So let's stop dancing around it and dive into these categories head first. First up, the cheats themselves. Let's see what kind of trouble we can cook up in this section, shall we? So we were just talking about the cheats category being like a toolbox. Right, a toolbox full of very, very interesting tools. Exactly. Well, the commands category, that's like getting the blueprints, you know? Like, yeah. you're not just using the tools, you're rewriting the rules of the game itself. Okay, now I'm really getting those mad scientist vibes. So what kind of rules are we talking about messing with here? Think of anything you'd usually have to work for in Minecraft, like grinding for rare items, spending ages traveling across the map, even enchanting your gear. Commands basically say, nah, we don't have time for that. Wait, so instead of spending hours mining for diamonds, I could just poof, magic them into my inventory. Pretty much. The dot give command is your new best friend. Need a stack of diamond blocks? Done. Want that super rare enchanted sword without setting foot in a single dungeon? Boom, one command and it's yours. I mean, that's incredible. Talk about instant gratification. But yeah. then doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose, the exploration, the sense yeah. of accomplishment when you finally get that thing you've been working towards? And that is the million dollar question, isn't it? Worst gives you the ability to sidestep all those traditional challenges. And some people, they see that as enhancing the experience, you know? Yeah. They want to build these crazy things, explore every nook and cranny without mm -hmm. the grind. But then others might say, hold on, that's taking away from the heart of the game. It's like, do you want to savor the journey, the scenic route, or just hop in a helicopter and get straight to the destination?
Exactly. It depends what you're looking for. And just when you think you've wrapped your head around all that, we come to the other features. Other features? The mystery deepens. Right. This is where worst throws you some serious curveballs, tools that make you go, wait, is this a cheat? Is this just helpful? It gets kind of blurry. Okay, you got to give me an example. What's yeah. lurking in this mysterious category? So there's the alt manager. Sounds innocent enough, right? It basically lets you switch between different Minecraft accounts really easily. Okay, that actually sounds kind of useful, especially if you play on different servers or with different groups of friends. Right. But then you got to think about it. Multiple accounts. How are those being used? For convenience? Or could it be for something a little more strategic? It makes you wonder. Ooh, I see where you're going with this. Worst definitely likes to keep us on our toes. What else we got? Then there's the server finder, a built-in tool to help you find and connect two different servers to play on. Again, useful, right? Sure. But it also kind of highlights the social aspect of all this. It's not just about tweaking your own single player experience. It's about how these tools change how you interact with other people in the game, you know? It's like, worst is a secret handshake to this whole hidden community of Minecraft players, each with their own reasons for being there, their own ways of playing. Exactly. And speaking of community, I saw on the website, they've got a whole section dedicated to player testimonials. And let me mm -hmm. tell you, they are not holding back. They're calling it a godsend, the best Minecraft hack out there. They love it. And that's something important to keep in mind too, right? For a lot of players, Worst isn't about cheating at all. It's about connecting with people who enjoy the game the same way they do. Sharing strategies, experimenting, and just pushing the limits of what's possible in Minecraft. So it's not always about getting an unfair advantage over other players. Not necessarily. Some people only use it on private servers with friends, you know, where everyone's on the same page and they're just having fun with it. So in a way, it's like choosing to play a completely different version of Minecraft with its own rules, its own possibilities. Exactly. And that kind of brings us to the core of this whole discussion, doesn't it? How do you even define what's fair in a game where you can literally rewrite the rules? It's tricky. It's like comparing apples to, well, hacked apples. It really is like we stumbled into some kind of weird alternate dimension of Minecraft. Hacked apples. That's amazing. Yes. It makes you think about the game in a whole new way, and that's what I think makes this worst thing so interesting. Totally. It's like, what happens when you give a player all this power, a diamond pickaxe that can reshape the very fabric of the world? What will they do with it? Exactly. Will they build something incredible, something you could never even imagine, or will they just, you know, use it to cause chaos? Right. And the most interesting thing about worst is that it doesn't give you the answer. It's not like, here's the right way to use this. It's wow. like they're saying, here's a toolbox full of crazy, powerful tools. Do what you want. And I kind of love that. It throws the whole question of fairness right out the window. It's up to the players to decide what that means to them in their own little corner of the Minecraft universe. It becomes less about right or wrong and more about choices. Yeah. Like a choose-your-own-adventure novel, but for Minecraft. I like that. <laughs> so for our listeners out there, the ones who are maybe firing up their own Minecraft worlds right now, what's the takeaway here? I think the biggest thing is just be aware. Worst exists. It's out there. And it's a big part of why Minecraft is so diverse. Well, don't knock it till you try it. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But at least you'll recognize it if you see it in action. Who knows, maybe it'll inspire you to try something new in your own game. Maybe build that mega castle you've always dreamed of. Exactly. Or finally tackle that massive underwater base. The possibilities really are endless, and that's what makes Minecraft so special. Well said. And on that note, I think we've done our spelunking for the day. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of worst. It's been a wild ride. We've explored the good, the bad, and the downright bizarre. And hopefully we've given you a few things to think about the next time you log in and start crafting your own Minecraft adventures. Until next time, happy mining, everyone.